This is Pastor Anthony Menzel from Abundant Love Christian Church in northern New Jersey. Uh, we're going to start off our Sunday service in prayer. Father God, we pray right now that you would help us through this service, Father God. Hallelujah. That you would be with us, Lord God. You remove every hindrance, obstacle, and distraction to this service, Father God. Please, Father God, be with us. We want you, the Lord Jesus, and the Holy Spirit to be glad that you participated in this service. And bless everybody else to be glad as well, Lord God, that we would receive everything that you have for us. We praise you and we thank you, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Father God, we pray for this Mother's Day service, Lord God. We pray your blessing over all the mothers, Lord God. We pray that you will cover them, hallelujah, with the precious blood of Jesus Christ in spirit, soul, and body, Lord God. Every mother that, that participates in this service. Give them all the best, Lord God. Give them the best well-being possible. Hallelujah. 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 In spirit, soul, and body now and always, Father God. We praise you, Father. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus Christ's name we pray, Lord God. We pray that you would give them to strength, Lord God, for the calling that they have to their children, to their families, Father God, and to be all that you created them to be, Father God. And we praise you for them. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, today was a very hard day for me. And... When we have a hard day, um, these songs that we sing, these Christian songs that we sing, I have a song for Mother's Day, but I, I, I don't feel right now in my spirit that I can sing it the way that the Lord would want me to sing it. So I think it's important for us to realize that when we're worshiping the Lord, that those these songs that we listen to, these songs that we sing, it's not just songs. It's not entertainment. It's a prayer to the Lord. It's communication with God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so if Reverend Mary wants to come and join me because she likes to be part of the praise and worship, uh, we're going to start off with I Surrender All. It may not be fast music to start off with, hallelujah, but you know what? This is what I need today because one thing about being a minister who has to work a secular job you remain sensitive to the people in your congregation, the people you minister to, who have to deal with hard things on the job. And so, you know, it's not all about being in the presence of God all the time. And um, today in the school that where I worked, there were many bad things that happened. And so I need for my own self, and this is teaching you as whoever's participating in this service, to use worship, hallelujah, to kind of bring you back to a place of peace, bring you back to a place of joy, hallelujah. And sometimes we're not going to be shouting right away. Sometimes we've got to just go in and, and get into a quiet place, hallelujah. And so we're going to start off with I Surrender All, in uh, our English hymnal on AbundantLoveChurch.us. Hallelujah. You can see this passage. And you know, sometimes you see the news and you hear about all kinds of horrible things happening. And, and tonight I just had to, to just shut it down. I've read about all kinds of things on my phone. But you know, sometimes it's just, it gets to be so much. You have a, a rough day at work and then you hear more stuff and more stuff and more stuff and more stuff and it just gets to be too much. And you get to the place where you have to just put it in Jesus Christ's hands. You have to surrender it. Amen? So we're going to sing. And you can follow along if you have another device. 
And using our website, I surrender all, all to Jesus. I surrender all to Him. I freely give. I will ever love and trust Him in His presence. Tongues. 
Pastor Shisha Bahurna Mania Shonda. And I need you to fill me with your love and your power. I need your blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your strength to fall on me. Oh, hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. You know, what a friend we have in Jesus. Amen? Amen. We have a friend in Jesus. Oh, Pastor Shisha Bahurna Mania Shonda. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sin and grief to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Yes, Jesus. 
Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. That's our main blessing, amen, that Jesus loves us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I just praise him that he saved my soul. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's why we sing songs like, I know I've been changed. I know I've been changed. I Sign my name. See, I praise the Lord. I praise God for people like the Shun Pace. Hallelujah. She sang a version of this song and she recently passed away. She was a great woman of God. Amen. A great gospel singer. Amen. And how fitting on Mother's Day service to sing this song and dedicate it to her. Amen. Praise the Lord as above all to Jesus Christ, but also to the Shun Pace who's looking down from heaven on all of us now. Hallelujah, but I just rejoice. That my name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Hallelujah, that I'm saved. That's my greatest blessing is to be with Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. I know I've been changed. I know I've been changed. I Oh, 
follow me down to that old Jordan stream. The angels in heaven does sign my name. Oh, I stepped in the water and the water was pulled. The angels in heaven does sign my name. Oh, which is my body, but not my soul. The angels in heaven done sign my name. I know I've been changed. I know I've been changed. I, I know I've been changed. The angels in heaven done sign my name. But you know what? This is on your hardest day you can rejoice in the Lord because I'm on my way to Canaan land. I'm on my way to Canaan land. I'm on my way. Oh, uh -huh. 
talking about holding on my chest. Shonda. Now, if Reverend Mary could sit down. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. I feel finally the ability. Hallelujah. See, sometimes you got to praise the Lord and worship the Lord a little yes. bit. Hallelujah. When you've been through some things, you've got to praise and worship the Lord a little bit. And Reverend Mary, don't go anywhere. I have to talk to the God. Hallelujah. Well, praise the Lord. Then we'll wait for this one because I was going to dedicate this to the mothers. And my mother is here. So I think she should be here. Hallelujah. So, Father God, I pray for the children, Lord God. Close your eyes, Gabriela. And one thing we've got to do as parents, especially of minor children, we can't let them do whatever they want. So I'm not going to pretend like people can't hear in this tape that she keeps asking me over and over, I want to go, I want to go. Gabriela, don't do that anymore, okay? I'll let you know when you can go, all right? Está bien? Si o no? No. You have to, you have to let Poppy tell you when to go, okay? Está bien? Si o no? Got to pray for you, pray for the children, and then you could go, okay? Okay, don't do that anymore. Amen? God gives us everything. We got to teach our children. God gives us everything. Just like they, they have time to pray, to play games, and to do all the fun things. Amen? Being in the presence of the Lord is fun, and we should also be in the presence of the Lord and make time for Jesus Christ. Amen. So, Father God, we pray for this new generation. That you would set them on fire for you, Father God. Hallelujah. The little ones, the teenagers, the young adults, Father God, set them on fire for you. They will be all that you created them to be, Father God. I praise you for Gabriela's beautiful song, Lord God. Oh, hallelujah. I praise you for that, and I thank you for that, Lord God. I praise you that she's got a heart after you. I just pray, Father God, for even more hunger for your presence in your word, Lord God, for her and for all of our children and our youth, hallelujah, and our young adults, Lord God, that they would achieve the potential that you have for them. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Okay, Ubi, si quieres te puedes ir. If you want to come back, you can feel free. Amen? Amen. Okay, so now Reverend Luis, we're going to be blessed again. This week I have to go to a, um, to a graduation, so I won't be in church on Sunday. And whenever somebody covers me in Spanish service, we, want, we try and give a similar same message. Uh, for the English service that's pre-taped, amen, because we love everybody regardless of what language they speak, amen, amen? so Reverend Luis is going to come now, and uh, he's, we're going to be blessed, it's like having a guest speaker, amen, amen? amen, amen, and he's going to pray for the service in Spanish. Gloria a Dios. Estamos muy contentos de estar en este lugar nuevamente. Very happy to be in this place again. Dale la bienvenida a todos nuestros hermanos que están conectados a través de esta línea. We give, we welcome all of our brothers and sisters who are connected uh, with the, according to this line. Y decirle hermanos que abran su corazón en este tiempo. We ask you to open your hearts during this time. Dejen que Dios obre en sus vidas. Let God work in your lives. Gloria al Señor. Glory to God. La semana pasada, last week, estuvimos aquí hablando, we were here talking about, acerca de ser agradecidos con Dios por nuestra por las bendiciones que nos daba. Being thankful with God, to be thankful to God for our blessings. Y hoy en día, hoy en día traemos una prédica, and today I'm bringing a sermon que se conecta de una u otra forma con la prédica anterior. That connects with last week's sermon. Porque cuando nosotros tenemos un corazón agradecido a Dios, 
Because when we have a thankful heart towards God, es que cuando nosotros podemos aplicar el mensaje que se viene ahora, that's when we can apply the message that is coming now. El mensaje está relacionado con soltar o despojarse de todo lo que Dios no le agrada de nosotros. So this message is about letting go of everything that God doesn't like about us. Y el título de esta prédica es es necesario despojarse de todo. And the title of this sermon is it's necessary to let go of everything. Y el versículo clave aquí en esta prédica es primera de Timoteo capítulo 6, versículo del 7 al 11. And the key verse is 1 Timothy 6, 7 to 11. So you wanted to pray, Reverend Luis? Amen. Okay. Bueno, Señor, yo le doy gracias, Señor, en este tiempo por estar en este lugar, Señor, el privilegio, Señor, que usted me da, Señor, de estar aquí junto a mi mentor, Señor. Y Padre, yo le pido en el nombre de Jesucristo este día, Señor, que usted tome control, Señor, de esta prédica, tome control, Señor, de todo lo que se hace aquí, Señor. Yo le doy gracias, Padre, de tener el honor, Señor, de predicar su palabra, de estar aquí, Señor, y hablar sobre usted, Padre. Le damos gracias en este tiempo, Señor. Tome usted el control de todo, que sea su santo espíritu, Señor, hablándonos este día, Padre amado, en nuestras vidas. Le necesitamos, Señor, cada día de nuestras vidas, Padre. En el nombre de Jesús pedimos, amén y amén. amén. Gloria al Señor. Amén. Entonces vamos a ir a Primera de Timoteo. First Timothy, chapter 6. Capítulo 6, versículo del 7 al 11. 7 to 11. Dice la palabra de Dios así. God's word says like this. Porque nada hemos traído a este mundo y sin duda nada podemos sacar. For we brought nothing into this world and it is certain we can carry nothing out. Así que teniendo sustento y abrigo estemos contentos con esto. And having food and clothing with these we shall be content. Porque los que quieren enriquecerse caen en tentación y lazo y en muchas codicias necias y dañosas que hunden a los hombres en destrucción y perdición. But those who desire to be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and harmful lusts which drown men in destruction and perdition. Porque la raíz de todos los males es el amor al dinero el cual codiciando algunos se extravieron de la fe y fueron traspasados de muchos dolores. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil, for which some have strayed from the faith and their greediness, and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Y no se dice así, mas tú, hombre de Dios, huye de estas cosas y sigue la justicia, la piedad, la fe, el amor, la paciencia, la mansedumbre. But you, man of God, flee these things and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, gentleness. Cuando tú y yo caminamos en estos caminos de querer agradar a Dios, when you and I walk in these ways of wanting to please God, hemos decidido seguir a Cristo y su palabra. We have decided to follow Christ and His Word. Buscar el Espíritu de Dios. To seek the Spirit of God. Y esto es necesario comenzar a desprenderse o despojarse de todas las cosas que nos alejan de Dios. And in this process it is necessary to begin to let go of all the things that make us go far away from God. Vamos a ir a Hebreos. Let's go to Hebrews. Capítulo 12, versículo 12, 1 al 2. Verses 1 and 2. Por tanto, nosotros también teniendo en derredor nuestro gran, nuestra tan grande nube de testigo, despojémonos de todo peso y del pecado que nos asedia y corramos con paciencia la carrera que tenemos por delante. Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Puesto los ojos en Jesús, el autor y consumador de la fe, el cual por el gozo puesto delante de él sufrió la cruz, menospreciando el oprobio y se sentó a la diestra del trono de Dios. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, 
and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Es por eso que tenemos que dejar al lado todo lo que le estorba a Dios. That's why we have to let go of everything that's going to be a hindrance for God in our lives. Fijemos nuestra mirada en Cristo. Let's fix our glance, our, 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 how we, let's fix ourselves looking on Christ. No nos cansemos ni desmayemos a seguir al Señor. We should not get tired or dismayed as we follow the Lord. En Deuteronomio 8, Deuteronomy chapter 8. Capítulo 8, versículo del 10 al 18. Starting with verse 10, going to verse 18. Aquí vemos que Dios advirtió a los israelitas God warned the Israelites que tendría la tentación de olvidarlo cuando experimentaran prosperidad financiera that they would have the temptation of forgetting him when they experienced financial prosperity. Desafortunadamente es allí en donde la mayoría de los cristianos están hoy. Unfortunately, that's where the majority of Christians are today. Vamos a leer Deuteronomio 8, versículo 10. Deuteronomy 8:10. Y comerás y te saciarás y bendecirás a Jehová tu Dios por la buena tierra que te habrá dado. When you have eaten and are full, then you shall bless the Lord your God for the good land which he has given you. Y aquí viene la advertencia, hermanos. Now comes the warning, brothers and sisters. Cuídate de no olvidarte de Jehová tu Dios para cumplir sus mandamientos, sus decretos y sus estatutos que yo ordeno hoy. Beware that you do not forget the Lord your God by not keeping his commandments, his judgments, and his statutes, which I command you today. No suceda que comas y te sacies, y edifique buenas casas en que habites. Lest when you have eaten and are full, and have built beautiful houses and dwell in them. Y tus vacas y tus ovejas se aumenten, y la plata y el oro se te multipliquen, y todo lo que tú vieres se aumente. And when your herds and your flocks multiply, and your silver and your gold are multiplied, and all that you have is multiplied, y se enorgullezca tu corazón y te olvides de Jehová tu Dios que te sacó de la tierra de Egipto de la casa de servidumbre. When your heart is lifted up and you forget the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Que te hizo caminar por un desierto grande y espantoso lleno de serpientes ardientes y de escorpiones y de sed donde no había agua y él te sacó agua de la roca del pedernal who led you through that great and terrible wilderness in which were fiery serpents and scorpions and thirsty land where there was no water who brought water for you out of the flinty rock que, se, que te sustentó con maná en el desierto comida que tus padres no habían conocido afligiéndote y probándote para, la, para el postrer hacer el bien who fed you in the wilderness with manna, which your fathers did not know, that he might humble you and that he might test you to do, to do you good in the end. Y aquí hay otra advertencia. Y digas en tu corazón, mi poder y la fuerza de mi mano me ha traído esta riqueza. Here's another warning. Then you say in your heart, my power and the might of my hand have gained me this wealth. Porque Jehová Capítulo, aquí está. Si no, acuérdate de Jehová tu Dios, porque Él te da el poder para hacer las riquezas a fin de confirmar tu pacto juro, que juró a tus padres como en ese día. And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is He who gives you power to get wealth, that He may establish His covenant, which He swore to your fathers, as it is this day. Aquí vemos, hermano, que no hay que olvidarse de Dios. We see here that we cannot forget about God. Él dice, Tenga cuidado de olvidarme a mí. He says, be careful that you don't forget me. Reconocer que Él es que nos da la fuerza para hacer las riquezas. We have to re remind ourselves and recognize that He's the one who gives us the strength y él es to que, make wealth. Y él es que nos da la salud He's para the poder one who gives us the help to obtain prosperity. Hoy en día vivimos en un mundo que cada vez se inunda más y más en el consumismo y el materialismo. Today we live more we live in a world that more and more is inundated 
with consumerism and materialism. Ha hecho que muchas personas que seguían a Dios antes se han comenzado a alejar más aún de Dios y sus caminos. And this has made that many people that used to follow God have begun to distance themselves even more from God and His ways. Renunciando a su fe. Renouncing their faith. Es decir, apostatando de su fe. And that, that means that they are apostate from their faith, meaning that they have turned away from their faith. Son personas que buscan más los beneficios que entrega el mundo a los beneficios que nos da Dios. They are people who look more for the benefits that the world will give them than the benefits that God will give them. En 1 Timoteo 4, 1. 1 Timothy 4, 1. Pero el Espíritu dice claramente que en los posteros días, eh, los posteros días tiempos algunos apostatarán, apostatarán de la fe, escuchando a espíritus engañadores y a doctrina de demonios. Now the Spirit expressly says that in latter times some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. Vamos a segunda de Tesalonicenses 2, 1 al 13. Second Thessalonians. Chapter 2, verses 1 to 3. Pero con respecto a la venida de nuestro Señor Jesucristo y nuestra reunión con Él, os rogamos, hermanos, que no os dejéis mover fácilmente de vuestro modo de pensar, ni os conturbéis, ni por espíritu, ni por palabra, ni por carta como si fuera nuestra, en el sentido de que el día del Señor está cerca. Now, brethren, concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together to him, we ask you not to be soon shaken in mind or troubled, either by spirit or by word or by letter, as if from us, as though the day of Christ had come. Nadie os engañe en ninguna manera, porque no vendrá sin que antes venga la apostasía, y se manifieste el hombre de pecado, el hijo de perdición. Let no one deceive you by any means, for that day will not come unless the falling away comes first, and the man of sin is revealed, the son of perdition. Este versículo, hermano, nos deja bien claro cuando vino la pandemia aquí a Estados Unidos. This verse uh, shows us very clearly what happened when the uh, pandemic came to the United States. Yo diría a nivel mundial. And I would say even on the world scale. En donde no nos podíamos congregar. We couldn't. We couldn't congregate. We couldn't meet as congregations. Y era muy entendible. And it was very understandable. Pero hoy nosotros podemos congregarnos. But now we can meet as congregations. Y hasta el día de hoy hay hermanos que han puesto, han puesto una pared para no llegar a la iglesia. And now there's some brothers and sisters who are putting walls up about coming to church. Diciendo tal vez excusas como que queda muy lejos. Saying excuses like maybe it's very far away. Como que no quiero conducir en la ruta rápida. I don't want to drive on the fast uh, highway. Pero sin embargo, ellos pueden ir a Nueva York a dar una vuelta en un bus, en un carro, no hay problema. But they can go on a bus or in a car to New York and there's no problem. Pero de ir a la, al servicio el día domingo siempre hay problemas. But to go to the service on Sunday, there's always a problem. Estos versículos hablan de apostasía y eso es apostatar en contra de Dios. And this verse is talk about apostasy or falling away from God and that is falling away from God. Apostatar quiere decir que están renegando de la fe en Dios. So apostasy means that you are um, like denying your faith in God. Es darle más importancia a lo material que a las cosas de Dios. It's giving more importance to material things than to God. Por eso que es necesario despojarse de todo cuando, cuando uno quiere caminar con el Señor. That's why it's necessary to lay aside everything when you want to follow the Lord. Hoy el Señor nos, nos va a llevar por esta senda a través de su palabra para poder entender que su palabra tiene que ser obedecida por sus hijos e hijas que hemos decidido mantener nuestra fidelidad a Dios. Today the Lord will take us through a, a trail, uh, through his word, a, a path through his word. So that we can understand that his word must be obeyed by his children who have uh, decided to keep our faithfulness to him, to God. Vamos a ir a Deuteronomio, capítulo 13, versículo 1 al 4. 
Deuteronomy chapter 13, verses 1 to 4. Gloria al Señor. Glory to God. Cuando se levantare en medio de ti, profeta o soñador de sueños, y te anunciare señal o prodigios, y si se cumpliere la señal o prodigio que él te anunció diciendo, vamos en pos de dioses ajenos que no conociste, y si vamos, no darás oído a la palabra de tal profeta ni al tal soñador de sueños, porque Jehová vuestro Dios os está probando para saber si amáis a Jehová vuestro Dios con todo vuestro corazón y con toda vuestra alma. If there arises among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams, and he gives you a sign or a wonder, and the sign or the wonder comes to pass, of which he spoke to you, saying, Let us go after other gods which you have not known, and let us serve them. You shall not listen to the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams, for the Lord your God is testing you to know whether you love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. En pos de Jehová vuestro Dios andaréis, a él temeréis, guardaréis sus mandamientos y escucharéis su voz. A él serviréis y a él seguiréis, dice la palabra de Dios. You shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice. It's happening again. I feel the presence of the Spirit of God. Oh, hallelujah. You shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice. You shall serve him and hold fast to him. Gloria a Dios. Dios está probando a su iglesia. God is testing his church. Si realmente le ama con todo su corazón y el alma. If this church really loves him with all his heart and soul. Este versículo representa a toda persona que ha decidido tener una relación verdadera con Dios. This verse, this passage represents every person who has decided to have a relationship with God. Y sus mandamientos. Vemos claramente que debemos de estar siguiendo y honrando al Señor nuestro Dios. We see here clearly that we should really, truly uh, be uh, putting, we should be following God's commandments. Gloria a Dios. Cumplir con su mandamiento, escuchar su voz, rendirle culto y vivir unidos a él con nuestra fe. So we have to, to, um, we have to do his commandments, listen to his voice, worship him, and live united with him in our faith. El Señor es muy claro en su mensaje. The Lord is very clear in his message. Nuestro enfoque con respecto al materialismo mismo en nuestras vidas. The Lord is very clear about how, what our focus with respect to materialism in our lives should be. Ya que su palabra enseña en donde realmente debemos de poner importancia en nuestro andar diario con el Señor, como nos enseña aquí claramente en el Evangelio de Mateo. This word teaches us, it teaches us that we, where we should put, really should put our importance in our daily walk with the Lord. Like it tells us clearly in the Gospel of Matthew. Mateo 6, capítulo 6, versículo 19 al 21. Matthew 6, 19 to 21. Recuerda, hermano, que la prédica está hablando de es necesario despojarse de todo. Remember that this sermon is talking about it's necessary to let go or lay aside everything. Y aquí en Mateo 6, 19 dice así. No os hagáis tesoros en la tierra donde la polilla y el orín corrompen, y donde ladrones minan y hurtan, sino haceos tesoro en el cielo, donde ni la polilla ni el orín corrompen, y donde ladrones no minan ni hurtan, porque donde esté vuestro tesoro, allí también eh, allí estará también vuestro corazón. Do not, Matthew 6, 19, do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, 
there your heart will be also. Y aquí surgen dos preguntas, iglesia. And so two questions come out of this passage. ¿Dónde está tu, tu tesoro? Where's your treasure? ¿Está en Dios? Is o, it in God? O prevalece más lo material. Or is it more in material things? Hoy encontramos tres tipos de tentaciones hacia el materialismo, según Gálatas 6. Según Gálatas According 5. to Gal Galatians 5, we see five types of temptation that have to do with materialism. Vamos a ir a Gálatas capítulo 5. Galatians chapter 5. Versículo 16 al 18. Verses 16 through 18. Digo pues, andad en el Espíritu y no satisfagáis los deseos de la carne. I say then, walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Porque el deseo de la carne es en contra del Espíritu, y el del Espíritu en contra de la carne, y estos dos se oponen entre sí, para que no hagáis lo que, que, lo que quisierais. For the flesh less lust against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish. Pero si sois guiados por el Espíritu, no estáis bajo la ley. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Aquí, hermano, encontramos tres puntos. Here we find three points. Referente a la tentación hacia el materialismo, que la carne nos manda ese, esa tentación. We see three points about the temptation that materialism sends to us. Primero está el deseo de la carne. First of the lust of the flesh. Deseo hacia un mayor bienestar a través de grandes cosas. So this is the, the desire to have the best possible uh, well-being through um, big things, through having big things. Por ejemplo, muebles bien decorados. For example, beautiful furniture. Aut autos muy costosos. Expensive cars. Ropa de marca famosa. Uh, clothes that are from famous brands. Y esto no quiere decir que es malo tenerlo. This doesn't mean that it's bad to have these things. A no ser de obsesionarse con estas cosas. A tal as punto, long as we are not obsessed with these things. A tal punto de siempre andar antojado por querer más y más para satisfacer la carne. Especially to the point where you're always walking around wanting more and more of these things. Segundo punto. Second point. El deseo de los ojos. The lust of the eyes. A través de ellos, nos dejamos llevar por lo que bonito se puede ver. En otras palabras, deseamos algo simplemente por su apariencia. So this is because it, we let ourselves uh, be guided by how beautiful something looks like. In other words, we just want something, we want something simply because of its appearance. Vamos a ir a la primera de Juan, capítulo 2. Versículo 16 al 17. First John, chapter 2, verse 16. 16. Porque todo lo que hay en el mundo, los deseos de la carne, los deseos de los ojos y la vanagloria de la vida, no provienen del Padre, sino del mundo. Y el mundo pasa y sus deseos pero el que hace la voluntad de Dios permanece para siempre. For all that is in this for all that is in the world, the lust of the of the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world, and the world is passing away and the lust of it, but he who does the will of God abides forever. Tercer punto, la vanagloria de la vida. The third point is the pride of life. Este esfuerzo que se hace no solamente para mantenernos al mismo nivel que el vecino o el amigo, sino que hay un deseo de sobresalir en nuestro círculo social. So there is a desire to be like the best in our social circle. It's a, not just an, a, an effort to um, maintain ourselves at the same level of our neighbor or our friend, but you want to even be better than them. Y esto lo vemos mucho en los jóvenes hoy en día. And we see this a lot in the youth today. Los jóvenes en este tiempo, estos, ellos compiten con la vanagloria. They, the youth, they compete 
in terms of the pride of life. Por ejemplo, con mi hijo Manuel, nosotros muchas veces fuimos a show de autos, que yo, que a mi hijo le encantan los autos. Uh, a my, show my son autos. loves cars, and many times we went to car shows. Entonces ahí yo podía ver los jóvenes cómo ellos se van a gloriaban con las cosas que tenían. And I could see how the the youth that were there they were taking pride it was the pride of life and they were having pride in the things that they had. Y repito hermano, eso no es malo. And I repeat, that's not bad to have those things. Lo malo es cuando tú dejas pasar esas cosas por encima de Dios. What's bad is when you let those things become more important to you than God. Recuerda donde está tu corazón. Remember that where your heart is. Está tu deseo. That's where your desire is. Cuando nuestro enfoque está concentrado en lo temporal, when our focus is is concentrated on what's temporary, perdemos la visión de lo eterno. We lose the vision of what's eternal. Las cosas de este mundo nos ciegan a lo eterno. The things of this world they blind us to the eternal things. Y muchos hombres de Dios han perdido la visión del ministerio debido al resplandor de las cosas lujosas. Many men of many men and women of God have lost their vision, their ministry vision, because of the shininess or brilliance of uh, luxurious things. El materialismo contradice la doctrina bíblica de sacrificar todo para seguir a Cristo. Materialism contradicts the, do the biblical doctrine of sacrificing everything to follow Christ. Es por eso que hoy en día vemos mega iglesias. That's why today we see mega churches. Super pastores. Super pastors. Super apóstoles. Super apostles. Porque no están verdaderamente fijos sus ojos en Cristo. Because their eyes aren't truly fixed on Christ. Y en su palabra. And on his word. Por eso que hay que despojarse de todo. That's why we have to lay aside everything. Cuando tú y yo caminamos en este camino. When we walk in this path. Es necesario despojarse de las cosas. It is necessary to lay aside everything. No podemos poner las cosas primero antes que Dios. We can't put things in front of God. Porque eso es idolatría. Because that's idolatry. Y la idolatría no le agrada a Dios. And idolatry doesn't please God. Nosotros tenemos que solamente adorar a Dios. We can only worship God. Vamos a ver a Marcos. Mark. El Evangelio de Marcos. The Gospel of Mark. Capítulo 10. Chapter 10. Versículo del 17 al 30. Verses 17 through 30. Y esta historia habla del joven rico, This story talks about the rich young ruler que viene a los pies de Cristo, who comes to the feet of Jesus preguntando cómo él puede ser salvo. asking how can he be saved. And Christ tells him you have to leave everything para seguirme a mí. to follow me. Gloria al Señor. Amén. Glory to the Lord. Dice, al salir él para seguir su camino, en este caso Jesucristo, vino uno corriendo e hincando la rodilla delante de él, le preguntó, Maestro bueno, ¿qué haré para heredar la, la vida eterna? Jesús le dijo, ¿por qué me llamas bueno? Ninguno hay bueno, sino solo uno, Dios. Now, as he was going out on the road, one came running, knelt before him and asked him, Good teacher, what shall I do? that I may inherit eternal life. So Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but one, that is God. Los mandamientos sabes, no adulteres, no mates, no hurtes, no digas falso testimonio, no defraudes, honra a tu padre y a tu madre. You know the commandments. Do not commit adultery, do not murder, do not steal, do not bear false witness, do not defraud, honor your father and your mother. Entonces, él, eh, él entonces respondiendo dijo, Maestro, todo esto lo he guardado desde mi juventud. Entonces Jesús mirándole le amó y le dijo, una cosa te falta, anda, vende todo lo que tienes y dalo a los pobres y vendrán tesoros en el cielo, ven y sígueme tomando tu cruz. And he answered and said to him, Teacher, all these things I have kept from my youth. Then Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, One thing you lack, go your way, sell whatever you have, 
and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. And come, take up the cross and follow me. Pero él, afligido por esta palabra, se fue triste porque tenía muchas posesiones. But he was sad at this word and went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. Entonces Jesús mirando alrededor dijo a sus discípulos, ¿cuán difícil entrará en el reino de Dios los que tienen riqueza? Then Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, how hard it is for those who have riches to enter the kingdom of God. Los discípulos se asombraron de sus palabras, pero Jesús respondió y volvió a decir, hijos, cuán difícil es entrar en el reino de Dios a los que confían en las riquezas. And the disciples were astonished at his words. But Jesus answered again and said to them, Children, how hard it is for those who trust in riches to enter the kingdom of God. 25. Más fácil es pasar un camello por el ojo de una aguja que entrar un rico en el reino de Dios. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Ellos se asombraron aún más diciendo entre sí, ¿Quién pues podrá ser salvo? And they were greatly astonished, saying among themselves, Who then can be saved? Entonces Jesús mirándolo dijo, Para los hombres es imposible, más para Dios no, porque todas las cosas son posibles para Dios. But Jesus looked at them and said, With men it is impossible, but not with God. Hallelujah. Oh, gasto si chamba por una manija sonda, for with God. All things are possible. Ahí vemos, hermano, que este, este joven rico We see here that this rich young ruler tenía mucha riqueza. Had a lot of riches. Tenía mucho terreno. Had a lot of land. Tenía mucho animales porque eso era, era el dinero de ese tiempo. He had a lot of animals because that was the money in those times. Estamos hablando de un hombre rico en ese tiempo. We're talking about someone who was rich in those times. Hoy en día hay muchos ricos Today there's many rich people que están corriendo con el camello para entrar por, la aguja, por el ojo de una aguja. That they are running against the camel to go through the eye of a needle. Y al final de la carrera, at the end of the race, es en donde el rico o, o deja todo de lado, that rich man will leave everything aside, para entrar por ese, por ese ojo de esa aguja que dice Cristo. To enter through that eye of a needle like Christ says, o deja que el camello entre por él y él pierda su, su alma. Or he'll let that, that camel go through the eye of the needle and he will lose his soul. Recuerde que Cristo a nosotros nos advirtió que el amor al dinero Remember that Christ warned us that the love of money es el gran problema del mundo. is the great problem of the world. Gloria al Señor. Glory to God. Vemos aquí que Cristo le dice al, al, al joven rico, le dijo, te falta una cosa. Look here, that the Lord Jesus said, one thing you lack. Diga, dice aquí, porque Dios no quiere que le sirvas al 20 o al 60%. Si God doesn't want you to serve him at the 20% or the 60% level. Él quiere que le sirva al 100%. He wants you to serve him with 100%. Él quiere el 100% de nuestro amor. He wants 100% of our love. Quiere el 100% de nuestra fidelidad a él. He wants 100% of our faithfulness. Y a ti Pregunto yo, ¿qué te falta? And so I'm asking you, what, what do you lack? O pregúntale a Dios, ¿qué, te, qué me falta, Señor? Or well, ask the Lord, what, what do I lack? Para ir culminando la prédica de hoy, to, to culminate or to conclude this, this sermon, solo dejarle este pensamiento, hermanos. I want to leave you with this thought. Disfruta lo que tienes. To enjoy what you have. Acepta tus posiciones materiales Accept your material possessions. Como si Dios te las estuviera prestando por un tiempo. As if God were loaning them to you for a time. Pero no te afanes con ellas. But don't get all upset and worried about them. Porque algún día estas, estas serán quitadas de ti, sea en vida o sea en muerte. Because someday these things will be taken away from you, either in life or in death. Tenemos los dos últimos capítulos, los dos últimos pasajes bíblicos We have our last two passages en el Antiguo Testamento. In the Old Testament. Vamos a ir a Eclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. Capítulo 1. Chapter 1. Del 1 al 15. 
of 1 to 15. Hay que dependerse de todo, hermanos. We have to let go of everything, lay aside everything, brothers and sisters. Porque todo lo que no corresponde a Dios es vanidad. Everything that doesn't correspond to God is vanity. Ecclesiastes fue escrito por el hijo del rey David. Ecclesiastes was written by the son of King David. Salomón. Solomon. Y Salomón fue el hombre más rico del mundo. And he was the richest man in the world. Lo tenía todo. He had everything. No le faltaba nada. He wasn't missing anything. Nothing. He, not, he lacked nothing. Y él escribe aquí en este párrafo. And he writes here in Ecclesiastes chapter 1. Palabra del predicador, hijo de David, rey, de Jeru rey en Jerusalén. The words of the preacher, the son of David, king in Jerusalem. Dice, vanidad de vanidades, dijo el predicador. Vanidad de vanidades, todo es vanidad. Vanity of vanities, says the preacher. Vanity of vanities, all is vanity. ¿Qué provecho tiene el hombre de todo su trabajo con que se afana debajo del sol? What profit has a man from all his labor in which he toils under the sun? Generación va, generación viene, mas la tierra siempre permanece. One generation passes away and another generation comes, but the earth abides forever. Sale el sol y se pone el sol, y se apresura a volver al lugar de donde se levanta. The sun also rises and the sun goes down and hastens to the place where it rose. El viento tira hacia el sur y rodea al norte, va girando y de continuo, y sus giros vuelven el viento de nuevo. The wind goes toward the south and turns around to the north. The wind whirls about continually and comes again on its circuit. El río, los ríos, todos van al mar y el mar no se llena. Al lugar donde los ríos vinieron, allí vuelven para correr de nuevo. All the rivers run into the sea, yet the sea is not full. To the place from which the rivers come, there they return again. Todas las cosas son fatigosas, más de lo que el hombre puede expresar. Nunca se sacia el ojo de ver, ni el oído de oír. All things are full of labor. Man cannot express it. The eye is not satisfied with seeing nor the ear filled with hearing. Vamos al 12. Yo el predicador fui rey sobre Israel en Jerusalén. We're going to go to verse 12. I the preacher was king over Israel in Jerusalem. Y di mi corazón a inquirir y a buscar con sabiduría sobre todo lo que se hace debajo del cielo. Esto, este penoso trabajo dio Dios a los hijos de los hombres para que se ocupen de él. And I set my heart to seek and search out by wisdom concerning all that is done under heaven. This burdensome task God has given to the sons of man, by which they may be exercised. Mire todas las obras que se hacen debajo del sol. He aquí, todo ello es vanidad y aflicción de espíritu. I have seen all the works that are done under the sun, and indeed all is vanity and grasping for the wind. Lo torcido no se puede enderezar, y lo incompleto no se puede con eh, contarse. What is crooked cannot be made straight, and what is lacking cannot be numbered. Hablé yo en mi corazón diciendo, he aquí yo me he engrandecido, y he crecido en sabiduría sobre todos los que fueron antes de mí en Jerusalén, y mi corazón ha percibido mucha sabiduría y ciencia. I commune with my heart saying, look, I have attained greatness and have gained more wisdom than all who were before me in Jerusalem. My heart has understood great wisdom and knowledge. Y dediqué mi corazón a conocer la sabiduría y también a entender las locuras y los, de, los de varios. Conocí que aún esto era aflicción de espíritu. And I set my heart to know wisdom and to know my, uh, madness and folly. I perceive that this also is grasping for the wind. Porque en la mucha sabiduría hay mucha molestia y quien añade ciencia añade dolor. For in much wisdom is much grief and he who increases knowledge increases sorrow. Hermano, estamos hablando de el rey Salomón, el más millonario del mundo. We're talking about the king, about King Solomon, the richest millionaire in the world. Y al final, el final de Salomón fue muy triste porque and that Solomon's end was very sad. Porque él no dejó las cosas que tenía que dejar. Because he didn't leave the things that he should have left. Mm -hmm. Empezó a poner cosas 
antes de Dios. He put other things in front of God. Y el final del rey Salomón fue bien triste. The end of King Solomon was sad. Vamos a leer Eclesiastes capítulo 12, versículo 12 a 14. Ecclesiastes 12, verse 12 to 14. Ahora, hijo mío, a más de esto se ha molestado. No hay fin de hacer muchos libros y el mundo es y el, y, el, y el mucho estudio es fatiga de la carne. And further, my son, be admonished by these, of making many books there is no end, and much study is wearisome to the flesh. Y aquí está lo más importante para el hombre. Here's the most important thing for, man, for humankind. Dice, Verse 13 says, El fin de todo el discurso oído es este. Teme a Dios y guarda sus mandamientos, porque esto es el todo del hombre. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is man's fault. Porque Dios traerá toda obra a juicio, juntamente con toda cosa encubierta, sea buena o sea mala. For God will bring every work into judgment, including every secret thing, whether good or evil. Vamos a ir a primera de Timoteo. We're going to go to 1 Timothy. Que es el versículo clave. Which is the key verse. Uh, hermano, dame un papelito tuyo. I want to mark this here. Because I have something I feel I need to say. Amen. 1 Timothy. Primera de Timoteo. Capítulo 6. Siete al once. Seven to eleven. Quiero decirle, hermanos, I want to say to you, brothers and sisters, que verdaderamente tenemos que despojarnos that we have to truly lay aside and let go de todas las cosas que nos frenan para llegar a Dios that keep us from getting to God. El diario vivir, daily living, ¿Cierto? Conduciendo de allá para acá al trabajo, conduciendo a diferentes lugares, al driving different places, al driving mercado, to work, back and forth, to the supermarket, to the hospital, para diferentes lugares, hermanos. for different places. Muchas veces no hace quitar la bendición que Dios nos puede dar. It can take away the blessing that God wants to give us. Recuerden que la semana pasada el mensaje fue darle gracias a Dios por todas las bendiciones que nos da. Remember that last week the service, the sermon was to give thanks to God for all the blessings that he gives us. Y hoy el Señor nos está hablando que nos despojemos de todas las cosas. And today the Lord is telling us to let go of everything. Amen. Y aquí está la respuesta por qué tenemos que despojarnos de todo. And this is the answer why we have to let go of everything. Primera de Timoteo 6. First Timothy 6. 7 al 11. 7 to 11. Porque nada hemos traído a este mundo y sin duda nada podremos sacar. For we brought nothing into this world and it is certain we will carry nothing out. Todo se queda aquí. Everything stays here. Tu alma. Your soul es muy importante en este tiempo. Is very important at this time. Si tú estás apegado a las riquezas, if you are like really attached to riches, más que buscar a Dios, more than seeking God, Dios, tú puedes hablar con Dios. You can talk to God. Si el Señor perdona, say God forgive me. Yo quiero que tú, I want you, me bendigas, that you would bless me, a despojarme to let go of and lay aside de todas las cosas que me, me hacen frenarme ante tu, ante caminar contigo en tu reino. all of the things that hinder me from walking in your way porque nada hemos traído a este mundo y sin duda nada podemos sacar así que teniendo sustento y abrigo estemos contentos con esto and having food and clothing with these we shall be content el Señor a usted siempre le va a proveer, hermano y hermana. The Lord will always provide for you, brothers and sisters. No hay justo que, no, que quede desamparado, dice la palabra de Dios. The word of God says that the righteous is never forsaken. El 9, porque los que Verse quieren nine, enriquecerse caen en tentación y lazo. But those who desire to be rich fall into temptation and a snare. Y muchas codicias necias y dañosas 
que hunden a los hombres en destrucción y perdición. And into many foolish and harmful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. Vemos en este país, we see in this country, United gente, States, gente rica con mucho dinero, rich people, people with a lot of money. Dios, Dios a usted le dio dinero, hermano. God gave you money, brothers and sisters. Pero el dinero usted lo tiene que disfrutar. But you have to enjoy that money. Hay, hay, hay diferentes formas de disfrutar el dinero en forma sana estoy hablando de there are healthy ways different healthy ways of enjoying hay, hay tanta necesidad alrededor de nuestras vidas familias enteras there are whole families there's so much need around us including whole families que a veces no tienen ni siquiera un pan para su mesa that may not even have a, a piece of a, a piece of bread for the table gente que lucha día a día para poder pagar una renta alta en estos lugares people who fight day by day to pay a high rent in these places. Hoy en día los supermercados subieron los precios a más del 50% en todos los productos. All the prices in the supermarkets have gone up like 50%. Vemos por ejemplo hoy día la, la gasolina, la benzina para los carros. Es increíble los precios que estamos pagando para poder trasladar de un, de un lugar a otro. It's incredible how the prices for gasoline have increased and how much more expensive it is for us to go from place to place. Cuando estaba todo normal, mi carro me hacía gastar 20 dólares a la semana. When things were normal, it was like $20 for me to, to fill up my car. For the Hoy en día va por los 50 dólares. Now it's like $50. Cuando usted tiene dinero, when you have money, Usted puede ayudar a otras personas. You can help other people. Mi testimonio hoy día es que yo me quedé sin trabajo ya hace dos o tres días atrás. My testimony today is that I lost my job two, two or three days ago. Yo trabajé por 23 años en una mueblería fielmente. I worked faithfully in a furniture store for 23 years. Era el que llevaba... Cada vez que había un, un cheque grande de 15 mil dólares, era el que yo se lo entregaba a mi jefe. Every time there was a check for 15,000 dollars, the person who gave that check faithfully to my boss was me. Por pues ese 5 mil dólares cash. Sometimes it's 5,000 dollars cash. Un día, de esos 22 años, yo falté un día en la mañana que tuve que ir al dentista con mi esposa. One day I was absent from work in all of those years. Because I had to go to the dentist with my wife. Y una de las personas que conducía la camioneta. And one of the people who drove the truck. Tenía que traer dos mil quinientos dólares cash a mi jefe. Had to bring two thousand and some dollars to my boss. Cuando yo llegué de Newark con mi esposa. When I came back from Newark with my wife. Esos dos mil quinientos habían desaparecido en el camino. The two thousand five hundred dollars had disappeared in the way. Y mi jefe tenía una cara así de larga. And my boss was really upset. Era como que había perdido al pariente que él más amaba. Was like he had lost his favorite loved one. Y me deja saber a mí porque yo apenas lo vi, le vi la cara, dije, ¿qué pasó? And when I saw his face, I said, what happened? Y él me dice y me expresa que se habían perdido los $2,500. And he told me that the $2,500 had been lost. Y sin embargo, hermano, yo hoy es lo que veo mi jefe que él no ha podido despojarse. And I see from my boss today that he hasn't been able to give up any, to let go de la, of things, de la codicia al dinero. of the greed for money. No ha podido. He hasn't been able to let go of that. Es una persona que nosotros estamos orando como iglesia para que el Señor salve su alma. We are praying as a church that the Lord will save his soul. Porque ese personaje, because that person, el que está corriendo la carrera con el camello a ver quién va a entrar por, esa, por ese ojo de la jaula. the person who is running with the camel to see are they going to enter in through that, that eye of the needle. Es por eso que Dios nos advierte acerca de las riquezas. That's why God warns us about riches. Son importantes en nuestras vidas. They're important in our lives. Pero Dios es mucho más importante. But God is much more important. Dice aquí la palabra de Dios. Porque la raíz de todos los males es el amor al dinero, el cual codiciando algunos se extraviaron de la fe y fueron traspasados de muchos dolores. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil, for which some have strayed from the faith in their greediness and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Recuerden, hermanos, remember brothers and sisters, porque nada hemos traído a este mundo. Nothing, we have brought nothing into this world. Y sin duda, nada podemos sacar. 
And it is certain we can carry nothing else. La palabra de Dios dice, the word of God says, polvo eres, you are dust. Y vuelves a ser polvo. And you're going to go back to being dust. Es por eso que digo yo que hay que despojarse de todas las cosas que nos evitan. Let go of everything Avanzar en el reino de Dios. that makes us avoid uh, advancing in the kingdom of God. Y la predica, la vamos a dejar hasta ahí hoy. And that's where the sermon ends. Le pido a Dios que pueda hablar a través de su corazón. I pray that God will speak to your heart. El despojarnos de todas las cosas que nos to lay aside all the things que nos, que nos evitan llegar a Dios. that prevent us from getting closer Para to mí ha sido un placer estar it has aquí. been a pleasure for me to be here Hablando de la palabra del Señor. speaking the word of God Con mi mentor. with my mentor Pastor, Antonio Menzel. Pastor Anthony Menzel y quiero darle la gracia a todos. I want to thank everybody Los que están conectados. who are connected y se quedaron hasta el fin a ver este mensaje. Who, and who stay to the end of this message. Quiero decirle que Dios les ama. I want to tell you that God loves you. Y que esta iglesia le ama también más a mí. And that this church also loves you. Dios le bendiga. God bless Gracias. you. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, very important message. And, you know, it's very, very important. Um... But I wanted to say this to everybody who's in ministry. And today people focus on, oh, be a doctor, be a lawyer, um, be a professional of different kinds. Folks, being in ministry is, I would say, the highest calling God can give you. Because what does it say in Ecclesiastes? Reverend Luis read it. Ecclesiastes 12, 13, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, Amen. for this is man's all. Amen. You know, I don't, I, I have two master's degrees, and I know that we have to be lifelong learners, and we're always learning new things. But when it comes down to it, the one book that I really want to read is this Bible. You know, I know today there's so many messages on the internet and people listen to different sermons and different preachers and stuff, but what really excites me is this, is being Amen. in this word. Amen. You know, I may not know all the Greek and the Hebrew and all of that, and it's really interesting as a bilingual person, a fluently bilingual person. I know some German, but I'm totally fluent in Spanish and in English. And comparing those two languages because the translations are independent translations. So you can see that, you know, this word is the word of God. This word is the same and has the same meaning in Spanish, the same meaning in English. Amen. There may be a few little details that if you read in one language, you get a deeper understanding because it kind of shows things from a slightly different perspective, a slightly different tone. But the meaning is the same in general and... Um, so that deepens my understanding of the word. Um, so I have nothing against reading in Greek and Hebrew and all of those things. And, and I know that it's a blessing to listen to different pastors. But really, being a minister is so important. It's so important that we cultivate those ministry gifts in our children, in our churches. We don't just focus on, um, I think this message is really important to make us realize it's not just about, oh, you're, we're... I'm an immigrant to this country or I'm poor. I want my kid to get an education to become a professional. Maybe your child has a calling to ministry. And maybe that's going to mean that they're not rich in terms of material things, but they're rich in terms of spiritual things. Yeah. So this is really important. The other thing is fear God and keep his commandments. For this is man's all. If you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, you don't have anything. Amen. I don't care what material things you have. I don't care uh, what job you have. I don't care if you're paying your bills great, you're living great, whatever it might be. If you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, you have nothing. Yes. So we always in these messages include a prayer of salvation. It's so important. Hallelujah. Romans 10, 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. 
Oh, hallelujah, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. You shall be saved. You shall be right with God. Hello. Matthew 24, 13 says, and that's really important. And it goes right along with this message. Mm. Right? And I didn't plan to sing I Surrender All mm. based on knowing the message. I didn't know what the message was. And then when I saw I Surrender All, we started this the worship off and it says, it's necessary to lay aside everything. Well, there you go. I surrender all. Mm. Surrender and all. that includes, when we sing a version of that in Spanish, and I translated it, and when I translated it, it said, all of my worries, all of my dreams, I surrender it all. All of the stuff in your life, you surrender it. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, yes. You surrender it all. Amen? Amen. It even goes beyond what that original hymn talks about, the way that I had it translated. And so, you know, you have to, it's, it's not just about saying a prayer one day. Matthew 24, 13 talks about he who endures to the end, hallelujah, shall be saved. So I really think that that's important. And it is important because you can't just say a prayer today and then not follow the Lord Jesus. You have to keep his commandments. Yes. Hallelujah. You have to fear him in terms of respecting him, not being yeah. terrified of him, but respecting him. There's certain things that when you respect God, you just don't do them. Amen? Amen? Yes. And there's certain things that you do do because you respect him. Before the service, I was so tired. And I had some of the songs printed out. And I, would, I always pray. This is for people who are in ministry or who are going to be in ministry. I always pray, Lord, do you want this song? I pray if I feel a peace in my spirit, yes, the song goes into worship. Hmm. If I don't feel a peace in my spirit, the song doesn't go into worship. Amen. Amen. And out of all the songs that I, I had all this stuff printed out, I think, oh, this is going to be easy because I have like 14 songs printed out. We'll just recycle. Amen. Two, I said, God, I'm tired. I don't want to print this out. I don't want to do it today. And one of the songs that had to be printed out was I Surrender All. Wow. Oh, amen. Amen. Glory to God. So, fear God. You have to respect Him. I can't just come up here. I can't come up here and not be real. Okay? So when my daughter was saying, I want to go, I want to go, I'm not going to pretend that she was saying, I, I want to go. I'm not going to pretend that she didn't say that. I'm not going to pretend that certain things don't happen in the service. Yes. Because you learn, hallelujah, from seeing example. Okay, this happened. Life isn't perfect. Things don't have to be perfect to be good. Right? right? A church is not going to be perfect. Yes. And if it is perfect, as soon as you or I walk in the door, it's not perfect anymore. Hallelujah. I'm not perfect. Amen. Yes. But fear God and keep his commandments. We have to persevere to the Amen. end. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Repentance. So just like Reverend Luis was saying, and I say it a million times, Acts 17.30, God wants us to repent, turn away from bad things, go toward good things, hallelujah. And last but not least, I always mention these things, John 14.6, Jesus said, I am the way, oh hallelujah, the truth, oh namaniha and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Yes. I was raised new age. New age, you could go to God in many different ways. You know? But the Bible says you can't go to God by Muhammad and Buddha and good works and this and that. There's one way to the Father and his name. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus. It's Jesus Christ. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, see the Holy Spirit will take away the tiredness. Hallelujah. And give you a little bit of energy. Thanks. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, where two or more are gathered in his name. Hallelujah. He is in the midst. The Lord Jesus is in the midst. Amen. So based on those scriptures, we're going to say a confession of faith, a prayer of salvation. Hallelujah. I'm really excited because... We have a Facebook administrator now. So hopefully your requests for Bibles or prayer requests will get to me 
Even if you do them through messenger, well, however you do them, they should get to me. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. You can send email. You can send. Uh, we have uh, the church phone number. You can send text there. But I don't have to say those things anymore because we do have a Facebook administrator for the glory of God. Amen. And I think that she's really doing a good job. And I'm excited to meet with her. Not this week because I will be away, but the following week to be able to iron out some things to make sure that I'm receiving all the messages Dirty that I need God. to receive. Yes. But we're going to, based on those scriptures I mentioned about salvation, let's say our confession of faith, our prayer of salvation. Please repeat after me. Father God. Father God. God thank you. Thank you. For sending Jesus Christ. For sending to Jesus Christ. To die for me. To die for me. And for raising him. And for raising him. From the dead. From the dead. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I confess you, I confess you as my Lord, as my Lord and my Savior. And my Savior. Father God, Father God, bless me, bless me to fear you, to fear you, to respect you, to respect you so much, so much that I will be. That I will be more and more like Jesus Christ. More and more in Jesus Christ. Every day. Every day. Forgive me, forgive me for my mistakes, for my mistakes, and keep me, and keep me always by your side, always by, by your side. side. Obeying your commandments, obeying your commandments, obeying your commandments, more and more each day, more and more, 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 more each day. More more each day. In, Jesus in, Jesus in Jesus Christ's name, in Jesus Christ's name, I pray, I pray, Amen, Amen. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Thank you. Oh Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Glory Praise to you, God. Lord. Glory hallelujah. To God. Praise the Lord, everybody. Thank hallelujah. You. Thank you, Lord. Well, I would like to have Reverend Mary come up and pray for the offering. And today's offering song is a special song. I've been trying to sing this song since the beginning of the service. Amen. Since the beginning of the service. And it's an honor of all the mothers, and it's an honor Amen. of my mother. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, but just, the, the two times, it wouldn't work. And so hopefully the third time is the charm. Yes. So Reverend Mary, pay, pray for the offering. <laughs> Father God, thank you for this wonderful message, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you blessed us with Pastor Luis, Lord Jesus. Lord. It was awesome How to hear you? your word, to know that we have to dispose of everything that is not that's, it's taking us away from you, Lord. Please, God Almighty, Jesus, I claim and faith, Lord Jesus of Nazareth, that everybody that saw this message will change and will be different after today, Lord. And I claim in faith, Lord Jesus of Nazareth, that everybody that's listening is blessed, Lord, that I wanted to bless this offering. I wanted to bless those people that give and people that cannot give yes, anything, Lord. Lord. Bless everyone, Lord Jesus. Yes. And I have to say today, Jesus, please, I beg you to protect the United States of yes, America. Yes, Lord. And yes, protect yes. all of the judges in the Supreme yes, Court, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. They, please, God, I put your blood over them. I claim in faith that my fasting is being the abortion issue. And today I put that blood over each one of them so no one could hurt them. It's not physically, mentally, spiritually, verbally, Lord. Because you're going to turn this issue around. It's in your hands. Jesus of Nazareth, and I feel, Lord, that you are listening to all of my prayers, Lord Jesus, because I promise you that I will fast about this issue until the day I die, and today is a day of glory to you, Lord, because I feel in my spirit that big changes are coming. Amen. You are the owner of heaven yes, and Lord. earth. And I thank you, Lord, for this thank divine God. protection for each one of those judges. 
because it's not fair, Lord Jesus, that they be hurt or be in fear because they want to honor you, Jesus of yes, Nazareth. Lord. I claim and pray that the United States is a Christian country Jesus, and that right, we exactly. serve one God yes, and that God is Jesus of yes, Nazareth. Lord. And I Hallelujah. thank you, Lord, for this word. I thank you, Lord, for Glory the fact the that Father. our salvation, Lord Jesus, that we Son. don't have to worry about anything Glory because someday we'll be together with you and be blessed by Amen. you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Yes, Thank Lord. you, Lord, for the changes that Thank already you, happen in the spirit yes, and every manifest in the present. Yes, Thank Lord. you, Jesus of Nazareth, yes, for using me in this fasting. And in your precious name I claim it. Amen and hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. So praise the Lord. We will, uh, before we close, we will have a, a time of prayer uh, based on our church's fast. Um, that we've been, I've been, I, it's, fasting is not easy for me, but there's been so many things that have been going on. It's been crazy. Before we get to that prayer, yes, I finally want to sing this song. Thank God for Mama. Hallelujah. Oh, wow. my favorite song. So I wanted to dedicate this to my mom. I'm very grateful to God <sighs> to have her here with me, alive. Hmm. Some people don't have their mother with them anymore. And so, very grateful to God to have my mom. Amen. We don't, sometimes we have our, our moments where we may have little disagreements but you know in life you have to realize that that doesn't that shouldn't cancel out mm -hmm. moments of disagreement shouldn't cancel out all of the good things that you've shared with somebody and all of the good things that they have done for you hallelujah so I sing this song thank God for mom <sighs> and also dedicated to all the mothers for Mother's Day amen she gave me life when it started, stayed with me and never parted. She held me close when I cried, wiped the tears from my little eyes. She understood my baby talk. Mama was there when I started to walk. And I thank God, I thank God for Mama. Thank God for Mama. She taught me how to pray. Thank God for Mama. She showed me the right way. I know that I will see her in heaven one of these days. And I thank God, I thank God for Mama. She taught me right from wrong. She taught me my first song. She taught me how to share. Didn't your mama teach you your first prayer? Mama told me that God would never change. Just call on his holy name. And I thank God, I thank God for mama.
party. She held me close when I cried. Wiped the tears from my little eyes. She understood my baby talk. Mama was there when I started to walk. Yes, I thank God, I thank God for Mama. She taught me right from wrong. She taught me my first song. She taught me how to share. Then your mama teach you your first prayer. Mama told me God would never change. Just call his holy name. Yes, I thank God. I thank God for mama. started as a, as, a, as a pastor. My mom was there in services when nobody else was there. Yes. So I do thank God for my mama. My mama is a, a good mom. Amen? Amen? She's been a wonderful mom to me. Amen? Thank you. Hallelujah. And now we're going to transition and pray. Pray for our church's fast. So, Father God, we praise you, and we thank you, Lord God, for Abundant Love Christian Church. Yes, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. And you sustain Abundant Love Christian Church. You've sustained us through the pandemic. You've sustained us through virtual church. You've sustained us through hard times. You've sustained us through persecutions. Lord God, bless this church. Hallelujah to last at least until the rapture, Lord God. Oh, hallelujah, and always for your glory, Lord God. And bless us, Lord God, with that right meeting place for us for this season, Amen. for this time. Oh, hallelujah. Guide our steps, Lord God, to know where you want us to go. Oh, hallelujah. So that we can obey your commandments and grow your kingdom to the max, Lord God. Oh, hallelujah. Because you know that time is short for many people. Even if your coming is to be delayed, every day people die, and they're either going to heaven or going to hell. And we want to help you snatch up as many of those souls, Father God, so that they go to heaven. Oh, hallelujah. So bless our church with that meeting place and keep us together, Lord God. Don't let the enemy snatch any more of our brothers and sisters away. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Father God, we pray right now. Hallelujah. We pray for Ukraine, Lord God. Yes, We pray Lord. for Ukraine. You know that I'm wearing yes, blue and, and yellow, Lord God. Some kind of blue and yellow, something close to that anyway, Lord God. In honor of Ukraine. Oh, hallelujah. We pray, Father God, for victory for Ukraine. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. We pray for a free and democratic Ukraine, at yes, least until hallelujah. the rapture, Lord God. Oh, 
Hallelujah. We know when the Antichrist comes, Lord God, we have to, we can't negate your word. There's going to come a time when there's no freedom anywhere. Yes. But until he comes, Father God, bless Ukraine to be free and democratic. Oh, hallelujah. Gasu si shamba horna mani ha shonda. Gasu si shamba horna mani ha shonda. Gasu si shamba horna mani ha shonda. Plead the blood of Jesus Christ over President Zelensky, Lord God. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. And all the leaders in Ukraine, Father God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Keep them from all hurt, harm, and danger, yes, Lord Jesus. God. In the spirit, soul, and body, please cover them with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I praise you that that, is a, that that man, President Zelensky, you have a calling on his life. Amen. He even said when they were saying that in Russia there's been explosions, Lord God. There's been attacks on the Russian side of the border, Father God. He said that that could be divine intervention. Hallelujah. He's giving you the glory, hallelujah. Father God. Oh, hallelujah. We pray that if he is not saved, Lord God, that you would save him. I know he's of Jewish descent, Lord God, but there's Jews that believe in Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. And we pray that he would not leave this earth, neither he nor any of his loved ones, without Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. We praise you, Father. We thank you for victory in Ukraine. Yes, Bless that country, Lord God, to lose the least amount of territory, yes, Father God. Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Father God, we praise you and we thank you, Father yes, God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Father God, we're crying out to you for this abortion issue, Lord yes, God. Jesus. Oh, yes, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. We praise you, Father God, that Roe versus Wade is going to be overturned hallelujah. in Jesus Christ's name. Oh, hallelujah. We declare it in Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. Protect the Supreme Court, Father God. Yes, Lord, Don't let them your add judges. Blood. Don't let them let any of these conservative judges go, Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Don't let there be any more retirements, Lord God, unless it's a conservative president putting conservative hallelujah. judges, Father God. Thank you, oh, Jesus. hallelujah. Jesus. We pray you cancel the impact of everybody who comes against these judges. Yes, you cancel Jesus. the impact yes, of every Jesus. protester in yes, favor of Jesus. abortion. Yes, cancel Jesus. the impact in yes, Jesus, Jesus Christ's name. Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Remit the blood that's flowing in our nation, Lord God, of those innocent babies, Lord God. Yes, Jesus. Just like the people yes, are in slavery, Jesus. Lord God. The slavery of African Americans in this country. They said, hallelujah, that they weren't going to let the slaves go. They weren't going to set the slaves free. But the slaves had to be set free. Father God. Hallelujah. 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 You're going to save the babies, Father God. Yes, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. And we not only really pray against Roe versus Wade, we pray against every single law in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Name, in every state. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. That would that would, hallelujah, that would promote abortion, Father. We pray it would be illegal in this whole nation, just and like slavery is illegal Amen. in this nation. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Father God, we praise you and we thank you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praying for the Praying that you would cleanse our nation, Lord God. Yes, and we can Jesus. have the, the courage to say, Lord, please protect the United States. Yes. Because if we're not going to bless you, Cost why should you Cost. bless us, Father God? But now that we pray, hallelujah, that you would that you would cleanse our nation, Father God, please, hallelujah, cover United States, yes. cover Taiwan, cover Japan, cover South Korea, cover Israel, hallelujah, cover Moldova, Lord God. All of these nations, Lord God, that are in direct danger right now, Father yes, God. Jesus. You know that Taiwan is threatened by China. You know that North, South Korea and Japan are threatened by North Korea. You know that the United States has a border with Russia and is close, relatively close yes, to Jesus. North Korea. Yes, oh, Jesus. You know that Russia is threatening Moldova now. Oh, 
You know, Father God, that Israel is surrounded by enemies, Father God. Yes, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. And we're praying for your protection, Lord God. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. And Father God, we pray that you would bless all of the sick people, Lord God. All of the sick people in our church. All the people, they're not sick because they're battling the sickness, Lord God. But you would bless them with yes, well-being, Lord God. Spirit, yes. soul, and body. Cover them with the precious blood of Jesus. We start with my wife, my daughter, Gabriela, Lord God. Yes, Pastor Jesus. Reverend Juana, Lord God. Yes, Jesus. You know that she's having another breast exam next coming up yes, soon. Jesus. I think it's in a week and a half, Father God. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Father God, you know... All the people that are struggling with illness, Lord God. Herleza, Lord God. And we pray, Father God, for all these people, Lord God, the ones named and unnamed in this moment, that you would bring the victory, that you would make our tests into testimonies, Father yes, God. Jesus. Hallelujah. We praise you and we thank you for all these things, Father. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus Christ's name, and cover our prayer basket, Lord God. Yes, Jesus. That all of those requests yes, will be manifested, Lord God, as quickly as possible in the best way possible. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Faith, Lord God, and glory, Lord God. Hallelujah. Janice. Carmine, Lord God. Yes, they may not be in the direct fasting, Lord God, but you know they're on our hearts and on our prayer list, Lord God. Hallelujah. Move in power, Father God. Yes, and we also Jesus. pray for the moves, Lord God, for Janice and for Marisol, Lord God. Yes, you know, they're Jesus. both really struggling with yes, where to Jesus. live, Father God, and how to move. And Lord God, we put that in the fast as well because we want to support them so that yes, you Jesus. would move in power, Lord God, yes, and guide their steps. We thank you, Father, for all these things. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank oh, you. hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So from northern New Jersey, praise the Lord. Father God, we praise you for this time in your presence and in your word. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ's name from northern New Jersey. This is Pastor Anthony Menzel from Abundant Love Christian Church. Happy Mother's Day. And we love you in Jesus Christ's name. And Jesus Christ loves you so much, much more. Have a tremendously blessed Mother's Day. Amen.